Okay, so we've got a matchup uh, I really haven't seen a lot on many streams on YouTube channels. Lucario versus Rob, Pitbull versus Maze. Uh, Zeke versus Luckis, Bull 2. Let's see how the match goes. Zeke, Luckis, Bull 2. And Koku, have you seen this matchup before? Have you experienced this? Uh, if I have, it's not been this year. <laughs> right, okay, okay. So uh, Pitbull's been in the San Diego scene for a while, as has Maze. Uh, Pitbull's, he's made some strides. Uh, sometimes you, you see him pick up Sheik. Uh, sometimes you see him do really well with Lucario. Uh, I've really have never seen him play against a Rob, and uh, I'm wondering what uh, what's the spacing like? What's the attacks like? Who beats what? Oh, wow. Early kill by Maze with a back air from Rob. Yeah, this, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't look like Pitbull's very familiar with the matchup either. Yeah. Um, and Rob, if you don't know the matchup, he has a lot of weapons. Uh, he's a very long horizontal reach. And uh, he can kill with his aerial. His aerials are kind of weird. They have a long last hitbox. It says Rob versus Lucario is even. It uh, looks like Pitbull's trying to figure out this uh, matchup. I think May seems the most confident in this. He knows uh, exactly how far he wants to space, keeping him back with four tilts, but Pitbull just got a forward smash that might, two forward smashes that might get him back in the match. I don't know, that means he can't kill with forward smash at this point. Yeah. Plus he's, yeah. I Three mean, forward smashes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you gotta use another move. All and right, okay, Orosphere uh, gets Rob at around 129%. Um, maybe Pitbull can use his aura. Pitbull is known to adapt pretty well, um, use his aura wisely. Oh wow, I mean, that Jaro just ate the full charged Orosphere. Wow. I don't know if Pitbull understands, and again, this is always hard, but the spacing to get in on Rob is weird. Uh, okay. One thing's weird. It's looking like Maze is getting hit by a ton of forward smashes. Not sure. Let's go, Pitbull! Alright, uh, Pitbull looks a little lost. In yeah, and Maze that, is just styling. Game. Maze is styling on him. Not necessarily getting the kill, but uh, I think it's enough to. Uh, make Pitbull really uncomfortable. Like you don't know what to do. It looks like he doesn't know exactly what to do right now. I want to say Maze might, oh. Uh, but Maze has to play it really safe because, oh yeah. The aerials by Robs are really weird. Um, it's really hard to get in on the hitbox unless you're someone like, you know, Meta Knight. Uh, oh. Another forward smash from Pitbull. <laughs> that, at the moment, that seems to be the only thing you can do to, yeah, <laughs> to hit Maze. If only this game didn't have uh, attack decay. That <laughs> might take it for him. Oh, wow. Maze, uh, yeah, Maze seems completely confident. He knows how to use his gyro. I mean, he's glide tossing the gyro down. Back, to, yeah. Pitbull, he's, he is not paying any attention to uh, when Maze has access to projectiles. Like, he just keeps getting hit by gyros, lasers. I think this one is going to go pretty fast. Uh, unless Pitbull can figure him out really fast, okay. He's just not under, uh, he doesn't look like he understands the projectiles. He doesn't understand his aerials. Uh, he gets an Orisville kill. And he's at 110%. He could possibly bring it back. Uh, the way this has been going, it looks like he might get hit with an aerial and die at a... Uh... All right, well, he's doing his best to uh, make him come back. And he is at the right percent to yep. get there. Oh, but... May zoning, using projectiles. It looks like he wants Lucario to come in. And then he'll just shoot him, throw projectiles. Yep. With three minutes left, oh... Uh, not sure about that side B. 
Doesn't look like Mays really wants to go in and kill with any grounded attacks. Oh, wow. Uh, announcing on the stream, Truth just two stocked Zex on game three. I uh, know, it's now game three. Uh, they're playing in bracket. Truth two stocked Zex, wow. All right, well. Oh, okay. Well, well nice, you know, you know nice Pitbull sphere. might just. I think Maze might be playing a little too safe now. Can be. get that grab, and that's it. Oh, wow. Uh, not, yet. No, not enough. Maze actually heavy. might be playing too safe and is going to get hit by something he doesn't want to get hit by. Yeah. Looks like <laughs> there it is. Got there it is. Oh. Oh, wow. wow. Good comeback. Pitbull came back at 173%. Yeah, this is Lance Stern Fierce. How are you? Looks like he uh, finally started getting good blocks yes. and um, not getting hit by like random lasers when he was charging his aura sphere. Yes. Wow, that was Pitbull was at. If you guys missed it, Pitbull was at 110 percent. Maze was at zero percent. Looked like he had it. Um, Pitbull adapted, got to use his projectiles, and actually brought it back with aura sphere and killed him. Uh, we've got game two. Same stage. Shout out to Panda. <laughs> Panda walks by. We got game two. I wonder if Maze is going to try and be a little more aggressive because uh, Pitbull definitely is wow. being more aggressive right now. Oh! And gets spiked for it. <laughs> Maze said you're not going to get aggressive on Robin. Spikes Lucario. Uh, shout outs, Panda wants to give a shout out to Seagull. Seagull, if you're there, Panda wants to give a shout out to you. And back to the match. Uh, it looks like it's playing out the same way it did in the first round. Yep. Uh, Pitbull has to play from nearly a full stock behind. Yeah. But, I mean, th this time it's up to Maze to right. keep it going. I think Maze might be a little uh, wiser, uh, might be a little more cautious in not getting hit. And won that match. he might go a little more aggro. Uh, no, he's camping at the moment. I know he's definitely going to be more careful and watching out for getting comboed or killed when uh, Lucario's at a high percent. Is that forward smash? Yeah. And you get, oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so Pitbull currently is at 130%. Uh, Maze, oh, wow, my gosh. Right. Another great combo. This time he doesn't get randomly spiked at the, the end. The forward air combos, uh, doesn't look like Maze has a way. I don't know if Rob has any options to fight that. Yeah, just a, a forward smash or an aura sphere could end the stock. Yeah, and Maze is, again, I think um, either... I'm not 100% sure either Rob doesn't have the weapons to kill Lucario or Maze is just going too safe and he's getting pummeled for it. Well, I mean, for, for about two-thirds of the first game, uh, Maze was doing fine just playing from a distance, but now uh, he just, he's, it looks like he's scared to go in. And, yeah. and he's dying for it. Yeah, he, he, I mean, he's not getting damage off of those gyros and lasers anymore. Right. He's got to throw in a little more of those surprise forward airs. Uh, I've seen Rob's kill with the forward airs out of shield and just smack him and kill you. Um, even throwing him, he's not. Okay. Good back okay. So we are now even 1-1, one, one, but Maze at 42%. All right, I think Pitbull's getting a little too aggressive here. He's just dashing in. Yeah. This could be an exciting round, too, if Maze can't get the kill. Oh. Okay. 
All right. Looks like uh, he's finally stabilized at one Oh, of got it. Oh, wow. I don't know if he can recover from that point, though. Oh, he can get just it. barely. Maze is trying to finish off Pitbull. He almost skimped him. But, um, yes. Wow. All right. It's 1-1. I was a little worried. It looked like Mays couldn't get the KO, and I thought Pitbull was going to come back with Aura again and kill him, but uh, Mays finished it off with some pretty smart ledge guards, and forcing Pitbull right in front of him and then just hitting him with aerial after aerial until uh, finally Pitbull couldn't DI anymore or Lucario was just too high up. All right, we're going back to Smashville for game three. All right, no Dave Stupid Rule over here. They just want to have an all-out brawl and see who's best. Starts off with a little bit of four tilt, some jabs. Looks like Maze. Looks like Maze is trying to. It's weird. It looks like Maze has pretty good control over where he wants Rob to go, how far. He looks like he knows how far the forward tilt goes. Looks like he knows where he wants. Wow. What was that? Maze with a weird roll, uh, like get up roll to a media down smash. That was, I haven't seen that one. Well, not much happening this time compared to the first two games. Right, right. I'm not sure. It seems like, I mean, it's game three. Uh, Pitbull still seems to be getting hit a lot by uh, Rob's laser. Uh, that's a pattern you see a lot. Uh, and I know when I have to play Rob, um, I always try to keep an eye on Rob. Oh, okay. Pitbull's still getting in. I always try to keep an eye on Rob. That was advice given because he's going to shoot those lasers. Lasers, you either dodge, shield. Pitbull doesn't seem to see it yet. But he's still, we're at 111 for Pitbull and 115 for Maze. All right, Maze just barely survives that <laughs> forward smash. But not that one. All right. Forward smash kills Maze. Pitbull's so. at 131%. Looks like Maze is trying to get that kill. All right, this is where it might get dangerous for Maze because Pitbull's still at 130 and so. Right. Oh, uh, and he's starting to get. Like any momentum he gets will deal a lot of damage at this yeah. point. Maze really has to be careful of uh, Pitbull going in with four airs, neutral airs, anything. Uh, we have in the background, Sky is advising Pitbull to run and camp for five minutes. 40 seconds up. It still looks pretty even to me. Uh, looks like they both kind of have a game plan. They know what they want to do, and uh, they're just trading blows. I, I don't, I don't quite agree with uh, Pitbull's uh, decision here. He's just, he's insisting on getting in close against uh, Maze as soon, as soon as possible. And yes. I mean, Maze is just like He's either just gyro him out or forward tilt or forward throw. It's yeah. Uh, you know what? I think the problem people might be feeling, I don't know, but uh, he can't out camp Maze because Maze has one, one more projectile than Pitbull does and they come out a little faster. Um, I think Pitbull's trying to be aggressive, trying to as much as possible, but uh, it's getting him punished. But either way, we're still at almost tied. All right, some good pressure games there. Oh, he could get it. And a down air kill. Yeah, uh, Pitbull okay. forced an air dodge from Maze in the air and then uh, just followed up with an aerial to kill him. This is, this is a... Uh point where Maze actually managed to take back in game two. So oh, yes. let's see if Pitbull can keep the momentum this time. Uh, he's doing a good job of keeping Pitbull on the ledge. Uh, 
Pitbull finds a way to get back to the center of the stage, though, and starts uh, Oars here. All right. Good. As, as long as he just moves forward cautiously, he won't be eating free damage from Maze. Yeah. Which is, who, who do you think is going to win this match? Oh, oh, oh. Who do you guys see, uh, who do you guys think is going to win this match if you're on the stream? All right, oh, okay. Tries to make it back, but Ariel's not ranged enough to deal with Rob's neutral air. We have a match right now, uh, and it looks like I think we're going to see Maze rack up damage with uh, his projectiles. Oh, Good cross up. I think uh, Pitbull's realizing here that uh, at this low, oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. That could have been bad. Oh, it, it might still, oh, oh, wow, wow. I'm amazed oh, with a that. huge mix. Oh, look at that. That, <laughs> that could have been really bad for Pitbull. <laughs> that would have been the craziest mix up. It looked like Maze was running out of fuel on his up B. Baiting Pitbull outside, and we've got ourselves a top. Yes, I did call that a mix-up, TBO. TBO. Okay, here we go. Oh, really needs to watch out for that neutral air. It's. All right, it's anyone's ball game. I think it's Pipples. Yeah. <laughs> Pipple throws out the aura sphere. Maze with a valiant effort gets Aura Sphere in the face. And uh, Pitbull scrapes out a 2-1 win. Pitbull, Pitbull, Pitbull. You want to give some words? So uh, we're getting Pitbull over here. We're, we're getting Pitbull over here on the mic. Pitbull, uh, congratulations on your win there. Uh, how were you feeling in that match? Well, me and Maze, we go back and forth. So to me, it was more like a pride <laughs> thing. Because right now, my record with him is like four, not four, like five, three now. So. Oh, wow, wow. So you guys have played each other before. Yeah, like every single tournament now, we've been playing each other. <laughs> wow, wow. Uh, it looked like in game one, it was getting kind of tough for you. Uh, were you were you just having a hard time adapting? Was it Had you not played the matchup in a while, or what? Yeah, he's just really good at defense. That's the thing. Okay. So like getting through that wall is yes. a difficult part. I hear you. I hear you, man. It looked like it could have gone either way in game three, but uh, it, it's awesome you got that uh, aura sphere. Were you thinking you had the win? Were you confident in winning, or were you just trying your best there? I was just waiting for him to jump. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, uh, Pitbull wins by just waiting for Maze to jump and throws an aura sphere in the face. Thanks, Pitbull. That's awesome. Thank you.